But the first time I came out here, it was really, really hard. Um, it took me a long time to um, to actually just wrap my mind around what the devastation was. And every time I'd look around a corner, I'd see a hungry kid or people that are begging, kids bathing in the creek um, with dirty sewer water. Um, you know, it, 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 it was really, really hard and emotional the first time. And um, after being out here for a whole week, I was able to kind of accept things and uh, just know that, I, that uh, I need to make a difference. Yeah, when I call my wife and I, at night and I try to explain to her what I've seen through the day, I, I can't even get it out. I, I just, you know, I'm usually crying and, and I, I just, I don't know how to explain it. It's just very um, emotional and it's very fulfilling. Please keep us safe and healthy. In Jesus' name, amen. Some of the hardest things for me uh, on this trip uh, in November is seeing children not having clean drinking water. Um, it, it's, a, it's a human right. Let me get on the other side. Food and water are human rights. I don't care who you are. We treat prisoners in death row better than Haiti treats Haitians. That bothers me. Um, I, I won't apologize for my emotion. <laughs> it's hard here. Well, they are so grateful, even when they have nothing. They are so appreciative of a touch, a hug, a high five, of a swing on a tree. Um, so for me, being back the second time, much less medical and more just humanitarian, just loving on them. We're all the same. I think that's the biggest thing is people don't realize that they can actually help. Um, uh, all it takes is just uh, just just taking the first step forward. And when you're out here, put your head down, lean forward, and move on. And you get through it, and you make some humongous accomplishments. And uh, I seen that the first time, and even more the second time I'm out here. And I definitely plan to come back, and hopefully I can bring more people. Yeah. Yeah.